beer, wine, jungle juice, whatever your choice of drink may be. The technical name for the alcohol that we consume is ethanol. And guess what? It's literally poison. So whether you're a little buzzed or on the verge of blacking out, there's a complex series of chemicals that have to happen inside your body for you to process and feel the effects of alcohol. Here's how it all works. When you have a drink, a small amount of alcohol is absorbed through your bloodstream, right away through your mouth. In fact, the alcohol can be absorbed through any mucous membranes on the human body. The alcohol then passes through your esophagus and reaches to your stomach, where about 20% of it goes into your bloodstream, and the remaining 80 goes into your small intestine. The amount of alcohol circulating in your blood is your blood alcohol content. Alcohol triggers an increase of stomach acid, so don't drink on an empty stomach because the acid comes in contact with your stomach lining and it won't feel great. Proteins or sugars slow down the entry of alcohol into your bloodstream and small intestine. On the other hand, drinks with carbonation are able to move, move through your bloodstream faster due to the carbon monoxide, meaning having a sandwich with your vodka soda will slow things a lot down than just having vodka soda on your empty stomach. Once the alcohol reaches your small intestine from your stomach, your body takes it up to your liver, where it's actually processed thanks to an enzyme called dehydrogenase. The alcohol gets turned into a chemical called acetide, which is also a toxic that your liver turns into acidic acid. That leads to the final step of breaking the acidic acid to water and carbon dioxide. It's a, it's a lot of steps. But in a healthy body, the liver is able to process all the ethanol. As for the tiny percent of your, that your body cannot process, you either pee, sweat, or get the dreaded alcohol breath. About half an ounce, your liver can only process so much at once, about half an ounce an hour. So, that, so what happens when your alcohol consumption outpaces your liver's ability to process it all? That's right, you get drunk, so the ethanol that your liver hasn't had a chance to process yet stays in your bloodstream. Also, your blood pressure decreases, your muscles relax, and the ethanol makes its way to your brain. Remember, alcohol passes through membranes easily. That includes the fatty cell membranes that are in our human brain. When the ethanol reaches your brain, it suppresses our capacity for learning and memory, leaving only leaving you only to able to focus on one or two things. Social inhibition goes out the window. So dancing on that table seems like a really good idea. And you can't process any thoughts, except for the need of emergency nachos. Plus, alcohol gives a large amount of dopamine, so you'll probably be having a great time during all of this. Since ethanol is toxic, your body prioritizes pr processing this over processing the alcohol. So that means it messes with your body's ability to regulate temperatures, your cerebellum function, and your organ function. It's not until the liver processes all the alcohol that your organ function can get back to normal. In the meantime, enjoy your headaches, nausea, and fatigue that come with a hangover, and just a little bit of nacho regret.